what I consider my real work began about 1973 when I cleared the decks of modernism, I mean me, by making the Book of Forty Images. And that was, that was a very um, clarifying time for me um, to get, get away from expectations of what an art, artist was supposed to be doing at that point. My um, own life became the material for me um, to, to make sense of my, la, uh, my work. I had to look at my own life and, and it was the things I was told that I was supposed to, to want, uh, I didn't really particularly want as, um, as, a, as a female. Um, so uh, my work, it became a matter of putting the work, my, the language I was developing, um, together with my experience, rather than what I was told um, by the culture. By 1980, I took the whole thing about materials. Um, I actually allowed that to just, it, well, I don't think I allowed it, it just exploded, and it started in a big way with hair. And, um, <clears throat> and so through the 80s, I did work with hair, but unfortunately, I've had a bad history of illness, and I was born, born uh, with a congenital condition in my lungs, and that I'd had, I had to have surgery uh, when I was 27, and bits removed. And I'm only mentioning that because throughout my life, that really has dogged me, the fact that your immune system um, becomes um, damaged and and the rest of your life you, you're sort of trying to just keep ahead of, of, of that and, and, and so during the 80s I became really sick and, uh, and so unfortunately it curtailed a lot of my work there but, but becoming sick brought me back to my body in a big way and so the, the rest of my work from 1980 to now is concerned the body so it started with hair, and then it went to skin, because of my illness I had lots of problems with my skin. And um, a whole language developed out of skin. And the way, the way skin wrinkles, obviously, and changes. Um, so, and then the brain came after that. I'll come back to skin in a minute. Um, and mutation, the whole idea of mutation came in. So I've worked with the body and mutation um, the, the thing about skin that interested me was the wrinkling and I discovered, I, I discovered the, these ideas then about Euclidean space and hyperbolic space and the fact that, uh, and the tension between them. So I used that in my work and that's what's in these works that are in the buff. These works have on the, um, on the plane, um, uh, there's a grid underneath in pencil and that plane is all wrinkles, which they are actually wrinkles, and I've used actual wrinkles in my work for a long, long time, real wrinkles, not, not um, um, simulating wrinkles with paint, um, with the, the materials I use. So going back to this thing about materials, the material is, the work depends on the material, and to the aluminium, which gives the, the gleam through, so allowing the aluminium to be expressed. The whole work, all the work was body, um, meant that I went into science. I also went into myth, and I went into the psyche. So those four areas I, I have been working on since 1980, um, consciously, I mean, I learned quite a bit about skin, I learned about the embryo, what, how that developed, and the skin and the brain uh, develop um, out of each other, but I won't go there in detail, it's just enough to say that for young people, being a lecturer for quite a long time over at uh, design school, I used to say to the students, um, just repeat it and repeat it, be very careful 
treat your subconscious really well because it's the best friend you've got and you do all your research which is what I'm talking about with going into science in those four areas and I don't sit down and say no because I have this information how do I make a work out but it doesn't work that way I just fill my subconscious up that's all I do and and I think I think really are the artist's processes, that's the process that generally is how it, how it comes. Um, and I trust it. And I just fill it up, trust it, go to sleep, and the next day something will come out and that's how it works. And it's not magic, it's just, you just fill it up and keep it filled up and well stoked. 